This is the official Phaser 3 starter project template. We'll start with index.js where our game logic lives, and to better understand how Phaser works, we will delete everything and recreate this file. To create a Phaser game, you need a new instance of Phaser.game with the configuration settings passed in. The configuration settings are noted as an object called config, and there are quite a few settings you can declare, one of them being scene. All Phaser games are made up of a scene or scenes. Scenes are children classes that extend the parent scene class and note you can name your scene whatever you like. As you can see, the scene in this video is named My Game, and My Game is passed into the config settings as a scene used in our Phaser game instance. Scenes are regular JavaScript classes and can have as many methods aka functions as you like or need for your game. But there are some special methods that come built into Phaser scene classes called Preload, Create, and Update. You can also add a constructor and call the super function, but this is JavaScript OOP 101 and not unique to Phaser. The Preload method loads all the assets for your scene slash game. The create method allows you to arrange and set up all your preloaded assets for the start of your game. And the update method is a function that is constantly called as long as your game is running, kind of like a mini game loop. And this concludes our quick phaser overview. It's pretty simple and a lot of fun. In the next few videos, we will review how to build your phaser game by adding images, character controls, particles, and more. Be sure to like and subscribe.